Greetings, this is Eduardo Jumbo. In this tutorial, JavaScript increment and decrement operators will be used. This is brought to you from the jumboshop.com learning JavaScript course. So increment operators are used to increment a variable's value and decrement operators are used to decrement a variable's value. I, you can use the jumboshop.com learning JavaScript web ID for to continue this tutorial or if you can use your favorite editor in this case I'm using NetBeans Apache uh, ID to number 22 so let's begin I'll create I only need one variable so say let num1 equals 1 then uh, the first one I'll do is I'll increment by one, so you can simply just type num1 plus equals one. So this will increment by one. Then we can print it out, num1. So that should actually be, so this should display two. Next, you can also num1 minus equals 1 or any other value you want to put in there. So this should decrement by 1. So now if we print the value, guess what this should be? This should now display 1. Next, we can do the pre-increment. So this is called a pre-increment. So if we print this out, so this will display two. Then we can also do a post increment. So if we print this out, This should display three. We can also do a pre-decrement. And if we print this out, this should display two. And of course, we can also do a post post decrement and if we print this out we should expect the value of 1 now I'll save this so I haven't if you by default if if you set up a project and you press the run button here you go to run this will open up in a web browser now here's the web browser and in case you don't see anything what you need to do is you need to pull up the console so in on my system I'll just right click anywhere on the page click inspect and then click on the console tab I can just scroll down here as well the console is also down here and you can see as I said it's two one two three two and one that's how you can view the values now on the jumbo shop dot com learning JavaScript course you don't have to do this I'll show you that in a second you can get the full article at jumbo.com JavaScript hyphen increment hyphen and hyphen decrement hyphen operators uh, the I've created a table here for you so you can add explaining or describing how to use the operators the increment and decrement operators you can expand here to view the source code we used there, or you can see it from the screenshot. And this is using a web browser. You see, I use NetBeans IDE. This is a web browser. I use Brave. And this is the video watching right now. Uh, this go to the learning JavaScript course. There's also a learning Python course, learning PHP course, and the programming ebooks can be downloaded on Amazon. Or if you want to go to ojumboshop.com, you can do that as well. So, you see, this is the learning JavaScript course at 
jumboshop.com. You can get 20% off until the end of 2024 by using promo code SCHOOL. So you see it comes with a built-in IDE. You just type in your code and then here the output will be there. So you don't have to muck around with the console and all of that as well. You can also use alert if you prefer that. Now if you go to Amazon, you simply search for my name, Edward Ojambo, or you can click on the links in the description, all in the article. And you can see there's a learning Python ebook. It's free if you have Kindle Unlimited. And there's also learning PHP. The learning JavaScript should be available this week. You can also go to ojamboservices.com if you uh, have issues or you want help building a website or maintaining it. If you want a custom app, it could be web, desktop, or mobile. If you want one-on-one -on -one tutorials, maybe you want to learn how to program or just more comfortable programming, whether it's a database or programming languages. Or it could be just software. It could be 3D software. It could be just uh, office software, for example. I can help you with that. You can call these numbers, North America, direct dial, or you can go, the preferred method is to use the contact form, fill in this information, and get back to you within 24 hours. Thank you.